success was rather a long time coming for British singer-songwriter David Gray, who released his first album, The Century Ends, back in 1993. Six years later, his fourth album, White Ladder, would set a record for the longest uninterrupted climb to the top of the album charts on the back of his smash hit single, Babylon. The success of White Ladder helped send his next album, A New Day at Midnight, to number one and kicked off two and a half years of touring, by the end of which David wouldn't have cared if he never sang Babylon again. Of course, I mean, it was killed for me. I'm, I'm waiting for it to, I'm trying to resuscitate it from time to time, but how many times did I have to play that thing? Like 10 times a day, 300 days a year, in all kinds of garish situations. Having spent so much time on the road, he knew all about the pitfalls of playing to new audiences night after night. I think the two biggest problems of, of playing music are, you know, uh, repetition and self-consciousness. You, 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 you know, you become, um, it, it poses big problems having to play the same songs all the time. Uh, and, you know, uh, it is a bit of a, a strain. It's always great when you've been, like, we've, we've had a few weeks off and now we'll come back. The first few gigs will be really, really sparky because the songs will feel really new, but then that wears off very fast. So, as I say, you've got to keep changing things around so there's no magic formula, just uh, constant change. That's my approach. After taking time off to recover, he got back behind the piano to start writing songs for his next album, Life in Slow Motion. The album went to number one and was hailed as a return to form by critics who hadn't been too impressed with A New Day at Midnight. Since then, he's released two compilations, one of his lesser-known early work and a greatest hits album. He's also been putting in appearances at huge gigs like Glastonbury, Live Earth and the Wireless Festival. In 2008, he joined other high-profile artists like Katie Tunstall and Robbie Williams to discuss the state of the music industry. Obviously, it's a changing time. Uh, the music business is uh, sort of falling apart, so I'm interested to in any ideas of how to put it back together again. Uh, you've got things like Spotify, you know, where people just get free music. So it doesn't look good from a sort of artist perspective. So I, I think if we all get together, uh, I'm sure someone's got some bright ideas how we can sort of unite and sort of keep hold of our rights.